Hello folks, it's Blue here with BeamNG Drive. There's been a new update and I will just want to cover it. I'm covering all the updates. Version 0.4.0.5. I'm very sorry I was a day late on this one. I didn't no notice it came out until today. So, let's just go over the new stuff. They added a mod manager right here. So, for your terrains... You'll see it will find all of them right here. You could deactivate them if you don't want them active, or just delete them if you no longer want them at all. Much easier than going into your file system. I have a feeling this is coming up because they're planning on the repository they're going to be doing soon, so you wouldn't really be messing with the file system much at all. So this would be in place of that once the repository comes out. So you can basically see that I have all my mods set in here. Not going to deactivate or delete anything, though. Then next up, they had the dashboard hidden in the UI editor, which is about time, honestly. I've been waiting on that type feature. Go to Jungle Rock Island. Then it binded spacebar to the handbrake. Also nice. Then it improved the Xbox controller input map. Not sure uh, what changed there. Slightly faster bindings in search. Not sure again. Show the last used binding in controls menu. I guess if you swap between one set of keys to another. Let me check that dashboard hidden in the UI editor thing. Oh, finally it's gone. That constantly messed you messes messed me up when I was placing stuff. Having that little thing there. It seems like it wouldn't mean much, but it does. See now you can place it and it doesn't move around like it did before, which is very, very nice. Now, then there's the virtual file system responsible for zip loading is now is case insensitive. That improves backward compatibility, so like older mods will work better with the new update than they did with the old update. So let's just see if I can find a mod that didn't work that now does. Come on vehicles menu, here we go. Well that one, that wasn't there before, that one got put back. Anything else? Oh, and this one, that one didn't work before either. Or that one. So, yeah, it did actually make older mods work again. That's good. Very good, because otherwise you're waiting on modders who may or may not actually get around to fixing the things to fix them. Okay, now going back sorry if you hear rustling paper bug fixes improve the backward compatibility for the old mods a lot I'm not gonna even say what they changed there just know that it makes more mods backwards compatible with the new version disabled advanced debug text drawing I guess that's if you're in debug Fixed inability to use certain keys for bindings. Like the spacebar, as an example. Then it... Hey, let me just send this car moving along with the AI so you aren't just sitting here looking at a non-moving car. Kind of dull to not see anything happening. say random there we go it's on its way while it's doing that I'll go on it fixed the inability to modify a binding twice in a row like say you want to change your going forward twice I assume then it fixed DirectX error messages while in full screen they were behind the game I did experience that one 
The launcher will check if DirectX is installed property, properly Sorry, instead of the game failing with the application is unable to start correctly. It's... Okay, now the rest of the bug fixes. Well, again, you'd notice I'm not very fun to talk about or interesting to hear about, so I'll just keep moving to the content. The new content. Fix Sky Curve 2 sorting. Not sure what that is. Added various missing preview images. Okay. Converted flares to .dds texture format for performance increase. That's good. Perform better performance is always better. Jungle Rock Island progress on roads. Okay. They don't look much different to me, but I'm going to take, the, take their word on it. 200BX. Added custom config, ABS for higher trim levels, strut bar, custom wheels, and uh, improved bumper deformation. Okay. Let's take a look. Stop the car. Stop. Stop the car. There we go. Actually, I'll back it up right back here, as it's a nice little intersection to sit a car at. Okay find the 200 BX faster to do that where's custom 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 turbo here we go thought I'd seen something else labeled the 200 BX though no that's a separate oh that one's working now that one wasn't working before that's a separate mod okay so it's the custom turbo manual I'll go for it in fire red Okay, looks nice. Liking the looks. Well, hopefully not crashing and burning. Actually, yes, hopefully crashing and burning. Who am I kidding? Unfortunately, there's no burning, but there is crashing. Like that. <laughs> I should probably go somewhere where we, where we can see that bumper deformation. Well, you'll probably not notice it. It's still... You can slam it into a wall. It's hard to beat that. Onward to grid map. While it's loading up grid map, I will continue talking. Sunburst, fixed incorrect collision triangles, improved buff bumper deformation, and improved A-pillar deformation. Okay. Not sure what most of that means. <laughs> as far as gameplay goes, I'm not sure how far much it means, if any. But let's see that bumper deformation. What should I hit? Well, it's not like I don't have uh, enough options in here. Oh! This thing's powerful. And up we go. <coughs> well, I don't think there's enough bumper left to deform. Oh, I think that's the former bumper right there in front of me. Okay, let's try hitting something in with such a way that the bumper stays attached to the vehicle. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's real, more better or not, def def deformation-wise. Seems to just crumple more than deform. Though, this car probably wasn't built for structural integrity, so... who knows. Okay, so, going on. Only one thing left to talk about, then I'll give you good folks one big, big old crash. Then, the video will be done. The Grand Marshal improved the bumper deformation and improved the A-pillar deformation. Okie dokie, away with the away with the sheet and onward to a crash now what should I use for this crash hmm I'll use the Grand Marshal actually I've never really crashed the sunburst so I'll use that oh 
I wrecked it before I even had a chance to crash it. Okay, that was lame. Gotta do something really fun. Something, a big crash. Ooh, big ramp. Hello, crash. Over here. That was still not big enough. Actually, what if I sit you right here with the parking brakes on? Slight lag in the selection screen. Bring in a big old T75 in orange. Oh, I clicked replace instead of spawn. Oh well. Back this truck up. Actually, redo this. Vehicles. Find the 200BX again. Think I passed it. And yes, I did. Quite a good bit ago. Here we go. Spawn new in fire red. And here we are. Put the parking brake on, F8, line it up approximately, probably completely lose my distance, but <laughs> whatever. Put it on top of the hill, just for even more power, control R, now, mod vehicle, then boost put the engine to the mod engine that I like to use with this. And away we go! Have fingers ready in position for slow mo. Slow mo! Just make sure this is good and lined up. Okay, we're gonna hit it closer to the right side than the left. Oh wow. F8. The car with no driver is gonna hit another car with no driver. Hit it! Ooh, smoosh! 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 <laughs> it's like a half a car! I don't think Wim. I don't think glass is supposed to bend like that. <laughs> it seems to have smooshed the back of the side of that car. And sent the T-Series going upward. Well now we're beyond the deformation. Let's speed it up all the way and see what happens. Zoom out a bit. Oh. Well, that did not, that crash did not disappoint. Okay, so what happened? This car, mm, damage is decent, but does it still move? Yeah, it still drives. Still intact enough to drive, okay. Though it, something did get broken, because I don't know what that, what part that is that broke, but it's going through the... <laughs> Okay, well, next is the, uh, 200. There's effectively no rear side, back side of the car left. Effectively. You can sort, you can actually still see the back, though. You can see the back bumper right there where it got smushed in. Pretty much all the glass broke, except for the front, which turned into a weird little pinhead. And the driver would be dead if there was one of, of around, and um, there's no backside of the car. The only hint that there was a backside of the car is that bumper that's just hanging there, and rear wheels. <laughs> well, okay, I don't think I have anything left to cover with the update. I've gone through the entire change log on my sheet. 
I've given you guys a good old crash, because what's a BMNG video without cr a crash? So I think that is all. I would like to thank you folks for watching. Please like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And make sure to come back tomorrow for my, my brand new series. I'm starting up Wolfenstein Weekly. Bye bye now. Oh, just for a little more clarification, Wolfenstein Weekly is me playing one floor of Wolfenstein once a week. Thank you for watching, folks. Bye bye.